Well, when you look at most of the errors that are made, it's because there was sloppiness in actually getting the job done. And there's no question that you have to know where you're going and so on, but is the project delivered on time? Is the product delivered on time? Uh, is the product of the highest quality? And, and so on. Those, those are the critical answers. Are, you know, are people engaged in doing things right? And it's, I, uh, you know, we had during the event, which I think was great, and we didn't stage it. You know, my microphone went down and got in trouble, and the gentleman who was doing the audio was literally on the stage, and you know that was a 25 year run, 25 yard run, and he had the re, the replacement microphone installed in uh, you know 30 seconds. And even though I have a loud voice, the people in the back, because see that that's that's the point. You know, you may say, well, boy, Tom has good ideas and so on. They aren't good ideas if people in the last 20 rows can't hear them. And so you know, I'm. To me, as a speaker, and today being a classic example, I'm as good as the AV people. And all my ideas, even if they did happen to be good, are totally irrelevant if you screw the AV up. But that's the classic part. And some, and the point being, having done this for a long time, some people invest in good AV and somebody looks, some people look for the, you know, to use the American phrase, the cut rate price. I said it about 10 different ways today in only an hour and a half. Uh, I call it, you're, a leader's in the people business. When I'm sometimes kind of rude, I say the definition of a leader is a person who no longer works for a living. Uh, not true at all, obviously, but you don't do the it. You know, your, your whole job is developing and helping develop your fellow human beings. And you know, I gave the example, I said, somebody gets a leadership job at 26, and let's assume they worked until age 70. Uh, you know, that means 44 years of your life are devoted to developing people. And I'm not sure that a lot of people who are in leadership positions see it that way. It was, it was interesting, I heard somebody once say, the three most significant transitions in your life are marriage, parent, and becoming a boss. Because they are the first time that things are not under your control. That if good things are going to happen, be it a relationship with a spouse or a project team or, you know, somebody, it's got to be, it's got to be a team. It's got to be other people involved. So, that, you know, that's, that's fundamentally what, what leadership is. I think the other things that I would say are uh, there is no substitute for enthusiasm. And people above a certain age, which probably is two years of age, can smell enthusiasm or its absence. But then I have to add a couple sentences to that. I'm loud and I wave my arms around. There is no relationship between arm raising and number of decibels and enthusiasm. And we all know that at some level. Somebody who's incredibly quiet just by the way they approach the job, can express enthusiasm and never raise their voice to the point that, you know, as far as you are from me that you could even hear me. So it's not, it's not about loud and talking a lot and so on, but it's, it's an intensity thing. And it's just, you know, you, you, you know the person really wants to, you know, to make it happen.